Fruits Basket is a special show. It takes such care as to craft a story filled with interesting characters, and while it can meander a bit with how it tells its story, it is always done with purpose. After seeing the first two episodes of Season 2, I wanted to talk about one of the things that really stood out to me about the show, and that's how all the characters are on a journey. All the characters in the Fruits Basket are flawed, some more evidently than others. And the beauty here is how the show is all about the characters fighting through their flaws. And this is most evidently seen so far this season with the conversations between Yuki and Matoko in Season 2, Episode 1. These conversations are striking because it's one of the very few times in anime I've seen both characters actively trying to change themselves as they have the conversation. Yuki is trying to open himself up more to interact with others, and Matoko is trying to just be a better person. And neither of the characters know exactly how to improve themselves. They know their flaws, we've seen Yuki coming to grip with them all throughout season one, and we had a lot of focus on Matoko this episode, seeing her face her own weaknesses. And the revelation I found so striking with her is that she hates herself because she hates everyone who's getting close to Yuki. And then the conversation between them at the water fountain is so potent. Yuki is afraid that he may have hurt her without meaning to, showing he's trying to care for others but doesn't know what to say and how things that he might say could hurt others without him knowing. But he wants to reach out anyway, see if he can do something. And then we see Matoko here, finding herself grateful for Toru, seeing Yuki smile and realizing that she was not the one who made him smile, but it was someone else. And because of her love for Yuki, or at least the ideal of who Yuki is, she is grateful for Toru because of that. And that revelation, her switching from hating Toru to being grateful, is very striking because of how different it is. But there's also the small piece, like, she still has some resentment for Toru. She acknowledges that, but she's going to move beyond that. And I really hope that she keeps going after Yuki, that she does love him. And maybe they'll do something with that romance. That would actually be really cool. And as I was rewatching this, I was actually surprised at how small of a moment it was. The scene itself was shorter than I thought it would be. But I think that's where the beauty of it comes from. Fruits Basket is all about these small moments, how meaningful they can be. And it is especially powerful here because we see both characters fighting to change. There's a lot of meaning in how Yuki is pushing Matoko to change without even knowing he's the one doing so. And I think that's so cool because it shows how we can inspire others by just being ourselves, not even meaning to be an inspiration. And it also shows the impact Toru has on people without it being direct or even knowing about it. And as I said, I really want to see more about Matoko here. She seemed like a joke character at the start, but there's a lot more to her, and I hope that they continue to give her a role in the story. There are many pieces set up all throughout this episode, and the first two for that matter, and I'm really excited to see how it will all come together. Also, if you want more of my thoughts about Fruits Basket, go check out the podcast I do on my friend Bento's channel, where we talk about Fruits Basket and, honestly, a lot of other things. It's a fun podcast. You should check it out. We do live streams every Tuesday evening. And be sure to subscribe to my channel as well if you're interested in more Fruits Basket content because I will be making it. I won't say exactly when, but when I get an idea that feels worthwhile. I'll also be talking about some other anime too, so be on the lookout for those. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.